Okay then, the new chip's in. Um, so uh, we're gonna just try again with this. See if we get it working this time. So we'll just go straight to the manufacturer's code. Okay, so we've got a response from this one. So the response looks like this. So we get the, the value, and then we get a little code, which is a sort of some kind of status of the, of the state and the value that came through. Um, so since that has worked okay, I'm gonna change this to get the CV code of one so we can find out what the locomotive ID is currently. Do you have to shift about so much? <laughs> Hmm? Making a lot of noise. Am I? Yeah. Is it affecting your dog? Yes, it will be. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. What's it do to the chip? It's these creaky chairs is what it is. <laughs> okay, so we've that's come back and that's come back as free. Uh, right, which is, so that's the manufacturer's ID. Yeah. So, so you want to change it to... 009. Okay, so we don't put in the zero zeros. We just delete everything and we put in nine. Come on. And we put in nine. Okay. Now, you'll also notice that further down, it's added the uh, external... Oh, sorry, extended address one and two. It's put values in those. I think that's just those are just standard values to say don't this is not a, an extended address that we're just using the single locomotive addresses um if you obviously wanted to have much larger number range i think over over a hundred uh then you need to start using extended addresses okay so if that value now is set we're just going to go right c v s to loco down here and off we go. Okay, this is written, now it's confirming, make sure it worked. There we go, that went through fine. And then it's starting to write the extended addresses. And done. Okay, so that chip's programmed now uh, with the locomotive ID of 9. So I'm going to come out of here. That's fine. Ah! Oh. Sorry, I left it. Uh, I should hit the X because <laughs> the green button is this green button is for. Uh, reading the CVs, whereas this is coming out of this screen. So yeah, okay, so it's definitely nine. <laughs> okay, X, and so now on this screen, we'll add it to the list. So we'll go nine on the list here. And then the name of the ID uh, as a train. So if we hit this, uh, hit this drop down. It's and R175. And we've got this find box down here, and we can type in the number that my assistant just gave me. What was it? R175, did you say? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah? No, it didn't. Which one number did you say? No, kill that one. It must be R2636. Okay, R2636. Yeah, that's it. Which one? Take the top one. I suppose there's not that much difference between those, is there? <clears throat> okay. So now that's selected, we just come over to the green tick in the bottom right corner, hit OK, and as you can see, it's been 
added to lists along here. Um, so when you're done again, sort of come out of this screen by going to the X here to exit, and then you can go and play trains. Mm. <laughs>